Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another video in the series of reviews on this Artec 261 inverter TIG welder. A few weeks ago, I was at the Classic Car Show. Uh, I spent a lot of time on the Artec stand, and there's quite a few people coming to me and asked, I thought, a strange question. How thick will that welder weld relating to the, the, the big TIG set? Well, it'll basically weld any thickness you like if you do multiple runs. Uh, but to me, TIG welding isn't about how thick, it's about how accurate and how neat. So what I'm going to do in this video is weld some of the really thin, I'm going to weld some standing place together. That's enough talk, I'll bring the camera in, show you how I set the job up to be welded, show you the settings that I use on the welder to weld it, and I'm going to also try using one of the easy weld settings, so I can find an easy weld setting that'll actually weld something as thin as that, straight out of the box. And I think the wife Deborah is going to have a little go at well as well because she's uh, she's quite proficient at two welding actually. So surprising me, she's getting better and better the more time she spends at it. This is a torch I use for welding really thin stuff. It's a CK torch, a WP9 with a flexi head. Really nice lightweight torch with a super flex cable. I'm using a big gas lens which Artec also supplied. And I'm using a Gould 2.4mm tungsten. I use 2.4 tungsten for everything, sharpened to a real fine needle point. The idea with a big ceramic cup is like this. You can see a lot better because it emits a lot more light. You can have a lot more stick out. Admittedly, you need to use more gas. But it also allows me to video much better than a ceramic cup. So that's the torch. These are the blades, ordinary Stanley box cutter blades off. Stanley blades. I've washed them and acid to them because they come coated in oil and you've got to have things as clean as you possibly can. You can see I'm using my new well jig or well position table from Mac Industries. This is a little jig I made up to hold the blades. It holds the blades, it also acts as a heat sink. So we'll just clamp that onto there. And the razor blades, or the box cutter blades, simply go underneath those two Alan headed bolts. And I have them so that the edge of the blade are just touching, so I've got like a little, a little valley or a little V, a little chamfer, to fill with weld. The first welds, I'm going to use filler wire, then I'm going to try and just do a pure fusion weld. The filler wire is stainless 316L, 0.8mm diameter nice thin wire so that's the, the basic setup for welding box cutter blades together this is the manual setting that i've stored in the machine that i know works to weld sandy blades basic amps 30 amps high frequency start spot welds off i'm using a pedal and the pulse is turned on pre flow gas, half a second, start lamps is 10, pulse time 40% or 46% on time, 5 hertz, I'm running out 5 hertz frequency, pulse lamps is 40%, post flow is 10 seconds, that's gas that comes out after you finish welding to try and keep the world nice and clean and cool, and I've got that saved in number one. So I'll bring the camera in nice and close and see if I can get a little bit of video of welding these blades. Then we'll go on to a easy set setting and see if I can simulate it welding as well in easy set. Right, quite happy with that one. Right, now we're going to go away from the ordinary DC menu into the easy set menu. 2.4mm tungsten. 
see it's one little thick, I just lose it goes on there. Cold stainless steel. It is a butt joint. Frequency, if we go, that's five different settings on here. We'll go to the middle one. Three hertz. Sorry, two hertz. We'll give it a try at that and see what it welds like. 30 amps, 30 amps should be enough. It's asking for a size 6 cup in 8 litres a minute of gas. I'm using 12 litres a minute with gas, but I'm using a big clear cup. Right, this is the first try with an easy set. That's pretty good now. Right, so out of the box, that's a good weld. There's nothing the matter with that, that's that's a factory setting, that's the way it came out. I'm going to try doing the fusion weld without putting the filler rod in on exactly the same settings. That's pretty good, that. I'm going to try and do a, a fusion weld, like no filler wire. I might need a little bit of filler wire just to establish a pool and then it should weld all right. One little drop on the end just to get a, a pool started, that's it. And then hopefully a fusion weld. Nice and tight. Ease off towards the end and keep the organ purge going. Right, that's as neat and tidy as I've done. That really is a pretty well. As you can see, I'm actually bleeding there with a bastard thing. Was that all right? Yeah, look, all right. Right, so we're trying with pulse or not? Yeah, put the pulse on, fine. Right? Better. Better? Yeah. Better with the pulse, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you, you must keep that torch still there at the end of the world. Yeah. See, you see once you change colour there. Yeah. Yeah, right. do it on the same blade. But keep that torch still once you finish the weld. When you get to the end of the weld, keep the torch there. And 
and ease your foot off and keep your torch still. Keep the torch there, keep the torch your foot. Keep the torch, man. Because I'm down at the end. Look at that, that's, I'll tell you what it is. If you hadn't moved the torch, that would have been perfect. Let's have a look. I know, but I've melted my end. I'll melt your end. Right, so that's Debsy welding on an easy set setting. What more can I say, really? If she hadn't uh, moved the torch, that would have been a nice silver weld. But all in all, I'm uh, very impressed with her. Are you happy with them, Ped? Yes, I am. Once I have some more goes, I'll get better. Turn them over so I can see the reverse side. I like this one because it's got your fingerprint on it. must have been hot when you picked it up. <laughs> must have been. <laughs> I'll be that finger there. <laughs> I must admit, I was surprised that there's actually a setting in here that will weld Stanley Blade straight out of the box. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we've enjoyed making it. I know we had a good laugh. Uh, the wife enjoyed her little bit of welding. The next video, I'm going to do what the lad wanted. I'm going to weld some really thick stuff. If you decide to buy this weld or any art tech product, there's a link in the description box. And by all means, mention right here. When you come to order it, it certainly wouldn't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.